I'm not looking for company. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is, how many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? Ah, you're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some land drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us! You can't escape it! You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men! Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours. Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. Explains a lot. For their innate, too.
Wahrheit ist die oberste Bürgerpflicht. Mangelnde Körperhygiene wird nicht toleriert. I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet than live on his knees. I'd rather the Krauts did the dying. Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. Five thousand barrels of precious petrol, guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first I must know. Are you prepared to kill if necessary? The way I see it, these Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. That's my car there. I'll drive. Let's get moving. Where are we headed? I spotted a German supply cache nearby. I am sure they won't mind if we borrow a few things, eh? Have you ever handled explosives before? I handled a bombshell once. Turned out she was married. This is serious! All right, keep your knickers on. I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you would. Mad! Look at this. Fucking Nazis everywhere, infesting my beautiful city like cockroaches. They certainly made themselves at home. It's time we showed them a different kind of hospitality. Supply cache is down that alley. Let's go. Look at those spineless jackals. I can't stand it anymore. Whoa, steady, mate. Let's just get what we came for. Espécé d'enfoir du merde! Christ, here we go. What the fuck was all that about? Uh, not now. Let's go. Get out of 
Here it comes. Let's see what kind of party favors these crowds brought for us. Break open those crates. Explosives will do nicely. Just remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. Feeling Irishman. I'm anxious to get the real show started. Ah, most men would have lost their nerve by now. Tell me, my friend, what were you doing in Ireland before you came to my country? I was a mechanic. Not that it's any of your business. A mechanic, eh? <laughs> well, the resistance could use a good mechanic. I didn't know there was a resistance in Paris. That's about to change. After tonight, the Nazis will have a new enemy to fear. The depot is just up ahead. We'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Aye, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman.
my cue. Time to leg it. Change the course of history, my friend. <laughs> well, all we did is blow up a petrol station. Though I must admit it, that fireball did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. Can you not feel it? Well, now that you mention it, it is just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free the city from fear, house by house and street by street. Some rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Oh, I. If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey. Enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. I owe you a drink. got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? Your whore is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, right? for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. All right. I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up me arse. No thanks, brother. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't it wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? 
I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown. Ready to move out? The truck is loaded and ready to roll. And the Aurora? Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to Saarbrücken. I've marked the location on your map. Come on, Sean, get in. Yeah, yeah. I need to borrow your car. Back to your old tricks, eh, Sean? Sean, we really need to get to the track. This is it, my friend. After tomorrow, you'll be a famous driver, and I will be right there beside you reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women! These German girls are crazy for racers. We'll have a dozen blonde beauties feeding us grapes, eh? Huh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jews. But there's more riding on this race than you getting your hull knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheelman. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. The Torres got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that a war could break out any minute, huh? Will you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job. the border up ahead. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned you need a hose in. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to stop shooting. Pleasure doing business with you. Not much farther now. I can smell the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the race. <laughs> Are you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. The teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. But not you, Jules. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Veronique got the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's around. Hey, it's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. What's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. <laughs> Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. Cousin Javier, where's the boss? Vitor is waiting for you at the bar down the street. Leave the truck with us. First round's on me.
I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic route. You run into any trouble? Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. To Signor Morini for taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. Another round for me, mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes, racing is politics. No. There is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Herr Morini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. This must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. It's getting late. Why don't we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Dine with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. Bastard! Boss, get my crazy sister out of here before she gets herself skinned! I am not going anywhere! Enough! I'm it. taking her upstairs! <laughs> and stay the fuck down! <laughs> Salute that, you fucking knob jockey! Could use a hand. Keep your left off. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Let's see if you can try with broken fingers. The barman's talking to the police. I'll take care of Veronique. You boy, get out of here. Jules, time to get scarce. You bloody... Fuck me, Skyler. Oh, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Mailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car! Hold on to your arses. Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. How long have you been in town? Mm, just got in, actually. I see you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Oh, those fellas behind us, they're just having a laugh. Is this Desperado routine meant to be a turn on? I don't know. Is it working? Will you watch the fucking world, please? The radio ahead to set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. They teach you that in your posh English school. Well, that was fun. Anyone fancy a nightcap? <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Uh, fuck this. I'm not going to be the third wheel. Take me back to the hotel.
want to bed. Keep the noise down, eh? I need some fucking rest. Come on up. I'll sneak you in the back door. Wouldn't have it any other way. <sighs> Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years. Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules' little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So, you in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for a living. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night. Where's the Duchess of York? <sighs> Don't know. She was gone when I woke up. To be honest, I feel a bit used. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Come on, let's get to the track. Dafür mach ich dich fertig! Up in Jersey. Let's get moving. Avengers. Come on, let's get to the track. We'll get there faster if we drive.
is your moment, Sean. Remember what I taught you. I trained you to win. Watch your ass out there. These Nazi bastards are out for blood. Drivers to starting positions. <laughs> I'll see you at the victory party. Fucking right! No, Sean. I forbid Did it. you not see what that bastard did? The race was mine, Vittori. Don't go looking for trouble. It finds us all soon enough. It's time we went home. I'll see to the Aurora. Wait for me at the pit. What's that? That is where the silver dart will be on display after tomorrow's ceremony. What ceremony? In honor of Joker's victory, the latest triumph of the Aryan race. Oh, bollocks. It'd be a damn shame if something were to happen to Joker's car before the big shindig. You mean some kind of freak accident? Oh, that would be terrible. Aye, tragic. Who's up for a little Sunday drive? I'm game. Where are you two going? Vittori told you to wait here. Uh, we won't be long. Jules, don't be a fool. If you want to get yourself killed, I can't stop you. 
but leave my family out of it. Jules is his own man. If I may chime in. It's not polite to eavesdrop. Didn't they teach you that in boarding school? Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you were too busy screwing your teachers to notice. <laughs> Please, we can't all die virgins. Brother, let's go, Jules. You're making mistakes, Sean. <laughs> when did you become the voice of prudence? Dirke isn't who you think he is. Oh, he's not a motherless arse-faced knob jockey. He's dangerous, Sean. Let it go. Thanks for the tip. We'll see you girls later. Here comes our boy. Let's find out what he's up to. Oh, just get in the fucking car already. Don't get too close. We don't want to spook him. Hang back a bit, but don't let him out of your sight. This isn't the first time I've run a tail, you know. to lose him. You're going to lose him. Move up. It looks like he's headed out of town. There's only one place he could be going. The Double Sieg Motor Works. That place is going to be crawling with crowds. This scheme of ours could get tricky. I've heard rumors about that place. Some people say they're making more than cars out there. The head of Doppelsieg has powerful friends in Berlin. I, Karl Eckhart. I saw him at the race with that banshee bodyguard of his. Franziska. She's one cold bitch. That's the motor works up ahead. Let's dash the car and take a closer look. Over there on the left. We don't want him to see us. How about it, Jules? Fancy a little exercise? I didn't come all the way out here for the view. Pretty rude of us to drop in without an invitation. I'm French. I'm supposed to be rude. Come on, let's get over that wall. Looks like a good place to climb over. Oh, fuck! You all right? Yeah, get over here. How did you learn to climb like that? Creeping out of bedroom windows at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you dead, my sister. Nice place. They should have a great view of the lake from up here. There it is. What do you say we take it for a little test drive? Right over that cliff. You can do the honors. I prefer to watch.
work on my parallel parking. Maybe we should leave a note, eh? Dear Wanker, sorry about the bang up. Send the bill to me arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me right arm to see the look on that tosser's face. That can be arranged, Herr Devlin. Shite. Hold on, Jules. Stay with me. Stop! Stop this! For God's sake, stop hurting him! Sir! I'm here, Jules. For God's sake! Jules. Your friend cannot hear you at the moment. I'm afraid the pain was more than he could bear. Francisca tells me you have been eager to see the look on my face. I hope you are not disappointed. What the fuck is going on here? Do you believe I spend every waking minute behind the wheel of a race car? <laughs> I have other, more practical talents with which to serve the Reich. My services are in great demand of late. Why are you doing this? I'm a patriot. You're a fucking animal. We are all animals beneath the skin. My godfather taught me that. He was a butcher, did you know? He taught me that the flesh holds no secrets once the skin has been removed. I had a long talk with your friend. He sang like a bird. But he could not tell me what I most want to know. And what is that? <sighs> Bishop is not half as clever as he thinks he is. He imagines that we are all blind to his childish schemes. Typical British arrogance. Who the fuck is Bishop? Maybe you should be talking to him. Do not insult my intelligence. We know that you are a British agent. We know that you were sent here to conduct surveillance on this facility. What? You think I'm working for the damn Brits? You must be out of your bloody head. Enough. You will tell me every operational detail of your mission. You will tell me. One way or another. Pull your head out of your arse, man. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Your choice is simple. You may choose to tell me exactly what I want to know, freely and without omission. In which case, you and your friend will return to France to live out the rest of your lives in peace. Sure. Or you may refuse. How are you there? I'm right beside you, Jules. In which case, neither of you will ever leave this room. Make your choice. Now. Go fuck yourself! The prisoner. The interrogation will continue when I return. Before this is over, they're gonna wish it hard. <laughs>